All right, well, during this stay-at-home order, there's one worker families are allowing into their house if they need him, the handyman. But these businesses are obviously trying to juggle with how to conduct their services in this new normal. Carlos is live, and do they have a lot of requests for work with people staying at home right now, Carlos? Well, that's a great question. Do they have a lot of requests for this part, which is the part of fixing your faucet or fixing a, a leaky pipe? But the other part of a handyman's job is home improvement, redoing your kitchen or putting a deck in the back of your house. That's the part, Julia, that they're having an issue with because that's seen as being elective, if you will, in home improvements. And that's the part that people like Kevin, your handyman here in central Indiana, is having a big problem with. So how have these coronavirus restrictions affected your small business? The state has guidelines as far as what's essential. An essential service is something that's required to make the house functional and livable. If you've got a pipe leaking or something like that, then yeah, that's an essential job. So we have nothing in the pipeline because we're not allowed, technically we're not allowed to go do estimates. You guys actually ask the people that you're going to go service certain questions? You actually have to ask people, have you been social distancing yourself have you been exposed any family members close relatives that you know are sick or know have been exposed usually it goes pretty good but you know you, you have these people that just don't want to answer those questions if they won't answer the question or yeah they say there's a good chance i've been been exposed then you know we just don't go there you have people who actually will not answer your questions about safety i had one gentleman that told me that he's not answering any of those questions and this was all a big you know overblown thing and so then i i tried to use that opportunity to educate him and i said well sir i said quite frankly we wear the mask and gloves to protect you from us you know i had one lady and i asked her if she had small children in the home and you know, explain to her that if we come over there, you're going to need to have you and your children in another area of the house while we're working. And she called back and said, well, no, I've changed my mind. So, Kevin, you have a respiratory issue. Explain that. Yeah, I have uh, emphysema and asthma. That puts me at a higher risk. What would you say to somebody who says, hey, your husband's life is more important than a few bucks. He's heavily at risk, and he's entering people's homes and putting himself at risk. Do they want to pay my electric bill and my gas bill and my groceries? You know, I mean, we do what we have to do because, you know, we have bills to pay. List for me all of the precautions that you take when you enter a house. If it's an occupied residence, we have, you know, the masks. I actually have uh, a 3M respirator mask, the nitro gloves, shoe covers and distance knock on the door you open the door take a couple steps back I'll, I'll close the door behind me we've got the the bottle of hand sanitizer in the truck you know i'll have the gloves on uh, come out when i get to the truck i'll wipe the gloves down and then take those off throw them away and then use hand sanitizer on my actual hands and you also wipe down the surfaces that you've touched in the home yeah we've come to terms with the fact that back to normal is it is going to be a new normal we've just both got that mentality where we have to adapt and overcome yeah and that's the thing they're trying to adapt and overcoming right now both Kevin and his wife Michelle told me that usually they would have all of their summer booked up by now, but because people aren't doing those home improvements as much as they were last year, they're kind of in a, in a lurch. And Ben, they did say that they are thankful they have a condo that they're working on that they started before the coronavirus restrictions all went down and that condo is empty. So that's sustaining them now, but they say in a month from now they might be in trouble. Ben?